Okay, so for the verse and devotion today, it's coming out of 2 Thessalonians chapter 1, and it's verse 8. <clears throat> now, before I read this and you go, oh my goodness, that is really harsh. <sighs> Let me just preface. Um, God is an awesome God, and He loves us. He loves you, He loves me, He loves everyone. But He does not love sin, okay? He absolutely despises sin. Uh, that's why he kicks Satan or Lucifer out of heaven because it can have no part there. Um, God loves you and he will do <clears throat> lots <laughs> to get your attention and to love on you. But if you constantly reject him, you will pay the consequences. That's just how it goes. Let me read this verse. <clears throat> <clears throat> Excuse me, Second Thessalonians chapter 1, verse 8 says, talking about God, He will punish those who do not know God and do not obey the gospel of our Lord Jesus. So it says, He will punish those who do not know God and do not obey the gospel of our Lord Jesus. So, for all the people that have said, um, it's okay if you do these things that are called sin. It's no big deal. For all those people that have told us that over the years, over the decades, they're wrong. It's not okay. It tells you right here. If you do not obey the gospel of our Lord Jesus, you will be punished. If you do not know God, you will be punished. So it's it's very simple. If you have a relationship with Christ, awesome. That's that's what you want. And I don't want you to think that you have to be afraid of God, this doom and gloom. It's not like that. He's a just God. He loves us. But we have to have a respect. For him and for who he is. And there's a lot of people that don't respect him. Don't care what he says. And quite frankly, I don't understand that. I mean, you can look outside. I'm, I mean, I can see outside right now in my window in my office. And all the trees and the flowers and the plants. And just that alone is amazing to think of what God can do. What he creates um, he deserves respect. I mean, there's people that you walk up to on the street and you know they're very smart, very intelligent. You give them your respect because you respect them. You have a, a respect for those individuals. But for God, we don't. And I guess it's because we don't think that we can see him. But you can see him in everything, in humans, in in a child being born, in a heartbeat, Um a healthy respect, a healthy fear is what I like to call it. I love my dad with all my heart, but I didn't mess with him. If he said no, he meant no. Um, same thing with God. I'm not going to test him. I'm not going to say, oh, try me, because he could. <laughs> Boom, and you could be gone like that. But he only pulls stuff like that when it's necessary. Most of the time, he loves on us and gives us 500,000 chances. That's just the way he is. But this verse is extremely on point with everything I've been trying to say, the lies that we've believed. We, we, we listen to this mess and we think, oh, it's okay. No, it's not. It is not okay. He will punish those who do not know God and do not obey the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. There you go. That's it in a nutshell. My suggestion to you, if there are things in your life that aren't right, and you know you need to get your life right with Jesus, it's as simple as I tell the kids every week. Just say you're sorry and mean it and ask for forgiveness. And then if you feel tempted to do whatever it is that you've been doing that's a sin again, Pray and ask him to help you. Take the desires away. And he will. And in the meantime, also rebuke Satan. Just flat out say, I, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus Christ, Satan. 
back off and leave me alone. I'm God's kid, and I'm going to do what he wants me to do, not you. Because technically, he's already kicked your butt, and that's all, all that matters. And you're just afraid of him. Just remind him of his future, and that he's already been beaten. So, hope this helps.